Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. How are you today? Very good. All right, great. Let me see Ana del Carmen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, I'm bored. <laughs> oh, you're bored? Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. So I, tell I me about your... I, I, I went, Verda. I went yes. uh, to the hospital. Oh, okay. Uh, and you had to wait, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yes, that is so boring. <laughs> okay. And tell me about your day. How was it? Um, what did you do apart from going to the hospital? And um, um, consulta, consultation, oh. um, nutrition. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the platform, Anna, how are you doing? And number, exercise number four. You were in section four. Great. Sí. Okay, perfect. You're doing well. Basilia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All right, great. How was your day? Very good. Nice, I'm glad to hear that. And how about the platform, Basile? I work in final exam, the A and B. Oh, nice. You're already working in the final exam. Great. Okay, that is awesome. Yes. Thank you. Carlos Antonio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How are Carlos? you, teacher? I'm fine, good, you? fine. Great. Uh, uh, fine, yes, I'm fine. All right, nice. How was your day? Uh, very, very stressful. Every day is stressful. Oh, In Maquila okay. is stressful. <laughs> yes, I guess. Oh, and how about the platform, Carlos? How are you doing? Uh, in this moment, I have a um, in number three, okay. and a half number three. All right, that's great. Keep going. Dina Ophelia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Very good. Great. And how about your day? How was it? Um, how was your day? No, no sé, no le entendí que me quiso decir. Oh, ok. ¿Qué tal su día? Ah, muy bien. All right. Gracias a Dios, bien. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. In the platform, Dina, what section are you in? In section four. Section four. Ok. Fine. Excellent. In Flores Miranda, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Okay, nice. How was your day? Working in my house. Okay, you just stayed home today. Yes. All right. And how about the platform, Flor? What section are you in? Yes, in section four. You're in section four already. Great. You're doing pretty well. Keep going. Thanks. Let's see, Amy Michel. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. How are you, Amy? Fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. How was your day? Um, good. All right, that's nice. And the platform, Ailey, what section are you in? Mm, section number five. You're in section five. Great, you're almost done. Awesome. Diana Yamilet, good evening. 
Good evening, teacher. How are you, Diana? Fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, my day was amazing um, because I going to finish my work on time. Oh, right. Nice. Congratulations on that. Thanks. And tell me about the platform, Diana. How are you doing? And section three. You're in <laughs> section three. Okay, that's fine. Keep going. Let me see. Thanks. Okay, Anderson Garcia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Very good. Nice. And the platform, Anderson, how are you doing? Uh, I finished the section five, but I haven't done the final exam yet. Just missing the final exam. Awesome. Yes. Okay, perfect. Boris Rodriguez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thank you. And how about nice. your day? How was it? Uh, it was very busy, but okay. good. Uh, at the end, good. All right, I'm good to hear that. And how about the platform, Boris? What section are you in? Ooh, I'm still in a lesson three. Okay, you're in section three. All right, just remember to keep working. Yeah, yeah, okay. Great. Alessandra Palma, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Good. I'm just doing well, thank you. And how about the how about your day? How was it? it was good. I have classes all the morning. Okay. What do you study? Marketing. Oh, nice. That's great. And how about the platform, Alessandra? How are you doing? I, mm, I finished the section four. Okay. You're I'm going to start the section five. Excellent. You're doing pretty well. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Gabriela Teresón. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I was a very busy day, but fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you're good. And how about the platform, Gabriela? How are you doing with that? Uh, section five. You're in section five already. Awesome. Great. Let's see, Cecilia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a little mm -hmm. tired about it. Oh, okay. And how about the platform, Cecilia? How are you doing with that? It's starting section three. Okay, nice. You're doing well. Remember to keep working. Okay. All right, nice. And let's start right away. Let's see. So welcome everybody to our third class of the week. And today we are going to start by sharing a little bit about our free time activities. So let me ask you, what do you do in your free time? Let's see, Anderson, what do you do in your free time? Mm, I play soccer in the afternoon. Okay, you like to play soccer, nice. Now, Anderson, can you choose another person and ask the same question, please? Cecilia mm, Estrada, what do you do in your free time? I like drawing. Okay, Cecilia, continue asking. Um, Adriana, what do you do in your free time? 
I study for my classes. Okay, Adriana, continue asking. Alda. Flores Aralda. What do you do in your free time? I like singers. You like singing? Nice. Singing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice, Flor. Now, can you ask another person, please? Me puede decir quiénes están porque no los no okay. los veo. Okay, Por so favor. let's ask okay. Carlos Antonio. Okay, Carlos Antonio. What do you do in your free time? Hi. Uh, uh, in my free time, I uh, read a book or watch TV. Sometimes, uh, sometimes. For example, uh, uh, I'm gonna go, we're gonna, the past, I went to the church. I uh, went to the church? Other thing, you know, went to the church, uh, and some, my time, free time too, uh, uh, meeting with another people, for example, uh, uh, meeting the, the people of the church too. Uh, and same, and, and, and when, for example, uh, Sunday uh, in the afternoon, I am a, a big uh, couch potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> or you watch TV, another, uh -huh. or other things. But the, 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 the Just Sunday in the afternoon is uh -huh. uh, one or two hours uh, watch TV. Uh -huh. I am. Uh, <laughs> All <laughs> right, nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now you ask Basilia, please. Basilia, Basilia, what do you do in your free time? I watch TV and I relax in the sofa. Nice. Basilia, you ask Ana del Carmen, please. Ana del Carmen, what do you do? in your free time. Anna, check your microphone, please. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm my free time, uh, watch TV, um, visit my mom, um, read the book, mm. Uh, play my, my cell phone. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, Anna. Now, can you ask Diana Lisette, please? Diana, what do you do in your free time? Watch movies with my son. Okay, great. Diana, you ask Ailey. Ailey, what do you do in your free time? Mm, I watch series. Okay, nice. Ailey, you ask Dina Ophelia. Dina, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, read a book and read a Bible. Okay, nice. Can you ask uh, Claudia Quintanilla, please? Oh, okay. Wait a little. Let me change to another person because Claudia just got in the meeting. So Alessandra, let's let's ask Alessandra. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Alessandra, what do you in your free time? Um, I love dance and watch movies. I love oh. their romantic movies. <laughs> oh, okay, it sounds nice. Now, Alessandra, ask Boris, please. Boris. Uh, Boris, what do you do in your free time? Um, I like to watch Netflix, read book, and I like uh, to ride my bike. 
Okay, sounds good, Boris. Now you ask Charlie. Charlie, what do you do in your free time? Um, I like to play soccer, um, read the Bible too, and listen to music. Okay, great. Now you ask Esmeralda, please. Okay, Esmeralda, what do you do in your free time? I watch in TV. Only watch in TV? Yes. Okay, good. Esmeralda, you ask Gabriela Teresan. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I spend time with my family and also I like uh, watch TV with my niece. Okay, great. Gabriela, can you ask Carlos Ruano, please? Uh, Carlos Ruano, what do you do in your free time? Hello, I watch the movie and I read the books. Okay, very well. Now, Carlos, you ask, uh, let me see, Diana Jamilet, have you participated? Diana, what do you do in your free time? Uh, take care of my daughter. I study English. Okay, nice, Diana. Now, let me see who hasn't participated. Um, Dina Contreras, have you participated? No. Okay, go ahead. Uh, can you ask her, please, Diana? Uh, what do you do in your free time, Dina? I like play swim, swimming and watch TV. Um, only. Only that, okay. Great. Is there anybody who hasn't participated? I think everybody has, right? Okay, so thanks for sharing. Let me just remind you, whenever we talk about the free time activities, we use the simple present. So we say, I watch TV, I swim or I go swimming. Uh, we can say, I stay home, I rest all day. I relax, I watch movies, I watch series, I go out with friends. Or if we use like, the verb like, for example, I like going out. In that case, we can use the ing, right? I like going out, I like swimming, I like um, watching movies, and so on. But remember, we use the simple present. Okay, let's continue by watching the conversation on section 2.6 and practicing it. Let me share it. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to it and then we get a chance to practice it. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Five. Wow. Okay, so that is the conversation. And take a look at it and tell me if you have questions about the the vocabulary, please. Mm 
No questions? Fine. Then let me ask for some volunteers to read the conversation, please. Me teacher. Diana Navidad and Boris. Okay, Boris, you start. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's it late. What do you do exactly? I I'm a TV announcer. No, no, sir. I do the work report on KNTV. K and TV. Don't you recognize recognize in me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Great. Thank you. Now let me have some other volunteers to read. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Carlos and Francisco. Okay, Francisco, you start. Okay, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do wear a report on KNTV. Do you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love you. I love you, Charles. By the way, I'm Daniel. See you. See you later. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Thanks for reading. And let's repeat, please. Recognize. 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 Recognize me. Recognize. Recognize me. Recognize. Recognize me. And we have weather. Weather. K and TV. K and TV. Midnight. 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 Okay, let me have two volunteers to read the to read the conversation again, please. Me teacher. Gabriela and Elsie. Okay, go ahead, Gabriela. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you do do you to work? I work in the afternoon. I just start work at five. What? Wow, that's late. When do you get at home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV, don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Danny. Okay, very well. Now repeat, please. Announcer. Announcer. I'm. Announcer. I'm. What? What? I'm. 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 Your. 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 Okay, let's have another part to read it, please. Me, teacher. Elena. Me, teacher. And Dina Ophelia. Okay, go ahead. Elena, you start. 
So, do you usually go to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I go work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually head home at midnight. Midnight. That midnight. is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the world report on KN TV. Don't, don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, excellent. Thanks for reading. Now let's repeat. Usually. 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 Gym. 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 Morning. 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 Afternoon. Afternoon. Late. 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 Night. 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 Midnight. 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 Announcer. 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 Weather. 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 Report. 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 Weather report. Where the report. report. KNTV. KNTV. Recognize me. Recognize me. Recognize me. Okay, now let me play the video one more time and I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation for the underlying words. So everybody pay attention, please. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, very well. Now let's continue by talking about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time in adverbs of time. So let's watch the video and then we're going to explain it and practice it. Noon on Sundays. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven, 
7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, so as you heard, we have some different time expressions that we can use with the simple present. And the first one is at, which is used for introducing a specific time. For example, when we say at seven, and then we have a, some different ways in which we can express the time. We got seven o'clock, that expression o'clock means en punto. Then we also have Expressions such as a.m. or p.m. or in the morning, in the evening. And remember, whenever we're using the time, we use at when talking about a specific time. Then if we are not specific about the time, we use around, around 10, como a las 10, right? Como a las 10, around 10. And we also have expressions like early or late, I wake up early, I go back home late, and we got until, which is hasta, until midnight, hasta la medianoche. We also have before and after, before, antes, after, después. And we got expressions uh, that refer to the times of the day or the parts of the day like in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. And we use at for night, at night. Mm -hmm. Then for the days of the week, we use on, on Saturdays, on Sundays, on Monday, on Tuesday. And we also have on for different expressions as the ones we have here on weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends, and on Fridays. And then let me also tell you a little bit more about the prepositions in, on, and at. So here I have some examples on how to use the prepositions. We say, for example, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. The shop closes at midnight. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? We get in the future. Another one is, do you work on Mondays? Here we're using a day of the week on Monday. And then we have her birthday is on 20th November. Her birthday is on 20th November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? On New Year's Day. I was born in April. In April. He goes to the park on Saturdays. On Saturdays. And she wakes up at 7. At 7. We're talking about time. So when do I use in? I use in when I am referring to months. 
For example, when I say in May, in March, in April, we also use in for years, as when we say in 2019 or in 1995, in 1845. Another use for the prepositions, for the, for the preposition in is the parts of the day. As when we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And then we have another use, which is with centuries and long periods of time. In the past century, in the winter, in the past. Now let's practice the, the expressions. Everybody repeat, in May. In May. In March. In March. In, in March. 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 In April. In, in April. April. In 2019. In 1995. In 1995. In 1995. In 1845. In 1845. In 1845. In the morning. In the morning. Morning. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. 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 In the past century. In the, in the past, past century. century. Oh. In, the winter. In, in the winter. In the winter. In the past. In, in the, the past. past. Okay, and now I have some example sentences. And we got my birthday is in April. 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 Can you help me to read the next one, please? Anybody? There was there a war was in 1997. Next one? In the past century, there was a war There was a war in the past century. In the uh, past siglo pasado? Siglo pasado. Century, okay. siglo. OK, next one. Can you read it, please? I travel I to Minnesota, to Minnesota in, in, summer. in summer. I travel to Minnesota in summer. Next one. You Your song starts, starts school, school, school in, in August. 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 Your song starts school in August. Okay, we are next. We are on vacation, vacation in July. 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 Next, the tiny sun in night in Okay, let's read the next one. Life was in the 1940s. 1940s. Next. We are in the 21st century. We are in the 21st century. Next. It rains in winter. So you see how we use the different expressions, such as in April, in 1997, in the past century. We got in summer, in August, in July, July. in 1912, in the 1940s in the 21st century mm -hmm. and in winter. Winter. Peter, excuse me. Tell What's me. the meaning? Uh, sank. Sank. Um, um, that is the, se hundió, se, how do you say? In, 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 yeah, in, in the, 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 the Titanic. Mm -hmm. 
say, um, how do you say that? Yeah, undir, uh, right? Uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. undir, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, so this is the past for sink. The, the present una consulta. is sink. Tell me. Ah, me recuerdo que en la diapositiva anterior uh -huh. estaban unas excepciones. Y no sé si yo vi mal, uh -huh. pero decía night, month, year. Y me genera la duda si, o sea, ahorita me queda claro que con los meses y los años debo ocupar in. in. Pero uh -huh. me recuerdo que en la otra decía decepciones y me generó la duda. O no sé in. si se referirá a otra cosa. No, they were not exceptions, they were the uses. So, um, let me go back there. Es en la, ver, en la que está como verde. Uh -huh. This one? No, la anterior. La primera. No. Que... Um, Donde oh, solo okay. Los... So, it uh -huh. was the one from the video, ah, I guess. Correcto. Sí. Uh -huh. uh, so, okay, let's check it. So, this one? La siguiente. Esa. This. Ahí dice... Uh, and general time or in. die except night, months, years. In la segunda. Eh? In, in this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of the day except night, months, and years. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so the exception here is night for the times of the day. Months and years are expressed using in. So yeah, maybe, um, yeah, it's kind of weird how they express it there, but the exception is night. La excepción acá sería night, porque se dice yeah. in the morning, in uh -huh. the afternoon, in the evening, pero con uh -huh. night utilizamos at. Y luego los months and years sería uno de los usos de la preposición in. So, sí, okay. está expresado un poquito. Eh, confuso como, en esta forma, como, pero... siguen, como siguen usando coma me da la impresión uh -huh. que eh, la excepción sí. abarca el, el... Todo yes, eso. you're right si sí, tiene okay. razón pero no el, se usa para los times of the day months and years exceptuando el time of the day night a okay. eso se refiere uh -huh. ok Vaya. gracias right. All right. Right. so let's pues continue sí. By talking about the preposition on. Now, how do we use the preposition on? We use it whenever we're referring to days of the week, as when we say on Sunday, on Monday, on Thursday. We also use the preposition on for referring to dates, full dates as when we say on December 27th, on February 19th, on November 13th. Now let's practice them. Repeat please, on Sunday. On Sunday. 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 On Monday. On, on Monday. 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 On Thursday. On Thursday. On December 27th. On December 27th. On February 19th. On November 13th. On November 13th. Okay, and now I have some example sentences to illustrate the use of on. We have, I work on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Help me to read the next one, please. Many, Many shops, shops down, down, shop down, down, open on, on Sundays. Sundays. On Sunday. open on Sundays. Next. What, what do you do, do, on, the do, you do on the weekend? weekend. My, My birthday, birthday is birthday on August 23rd. 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 I was, I, was I was born on July 1st. I was born on June 1st. June 1st. On June 1st. On June 1st. On June 1st. On June 1st. Next one. My vacation ends on Monday. Monday. Okay. We are going bowling. Bowling. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. 
My brother John was born September on September. We all have a celebration on New Year. Okay, so you see how we use the preposition on in different expressions on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, on Sundays. On the weekend, on August 23rd, on June 1st, on Monday, on Friday night, on September 3rd, and on New Year's Eve. And we also have to take into account that we use in whenever we only mention the month but on when we mention the full date, for example, here, if I change this to my birthday is in August, then I use in because I'm only mentioning the month. Here I'm mentioning the date, but here only the month. So that is why I changed the preposition, right? And then we have another example here. I was born on June 1st. If I change it to only June, it would be I was born in June. How about this one? Change it, please. My brother John was born on September 3rd. How would it be? My brother, brother John was born on September. On September. In September, here we change it and we say in September. If we only mention the month, we only use only mention in. the month, no the day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's correct. So instead of using on, we would say in if we only mention the month. I was born in, in June. June. Exactly. Then my brother John was born in September. My brother John was born in September. No. So remember about that little detail, right? Only months in and the dates on. Any questions about this? Maybe not. Okay, let's continue no, talking care. about the preposition at. We use at for talking about pre precise time at 4.45 a.m. at three o'clock at 2.25 in the afternoon. So let's practice, repeat please, at 4.45 a.m. At 4.45 a.m. At three o'clock. At three o'clock. At 2.25 in the afternoon. At 2.25 in, in the afternoon. Now the examples. It gets cold at night. It's cold at night. What do you do at the weekend? What do you do at the weekend? What do you do at the weekend? And notice that with weekend, we can use on, on the weekend or at, at the weekend. So normally for American English, we use on the weekend, but for British English, we can use at, we say at the weekend. Next one, can you read it please? There's, there's a meeting Awesome. Next one. Oh, it's messy. Jen went home. Jen went home. Lunch 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 I go, I, go to bed, I go to bed at midnight. Okay, we got. I, I see you at I see you at seven thirty. And 
shop closes at midnight. Okay, very well. So you see, we use at in expressions such as at night, at the weekend, at the weekend, at two thirty, at midnight, at midnight, at lunch time, at lunch time, at, at nine a.m. Again, we have at night, at seven thirty, seven thirty. Once again, we repeat at night and at midnight, at midnight, midnight. midnight. And also, a, let's practice pronunciation for this expression. We got AM. 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 Very well. We say, I have a meeting at 9 AM. I have a meeting at 9 AM. Okay, we got a couple of minutes to practice. Let me see what we got. So I got some practice for the questions that we studied yesterday, but we're going to leave it for tomorrow because of the time. Let's practice with this exercise. We got three different options. We have to circle the correct one. For example, we say in Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday. On, on Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Exactly, we say on Sunday. Number two. <laughs> On the evening, in the evening, or at the evening? In the evening. In the evening. Teacher, in this case, si marcamos at the evening, <coughs> así como estaba en el anterior. Um, no, you cannot say at the evening. We always say in the evening. The one that can be different is the weekend. You can say on the weekend or at the weekend. But evening always takes in. In. Yes. Okay. All right. Number three. On night, in night, or at night. At, at night. night. At night. night. <clears throat> yes, we say at night. Number four. On the weekend, in the weekend, or at the weekend. At the weekend. Okay. So weekend. here we have two different options, right? We can say mm -hmm. at the weekend. Or on the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. <clears throat> okay. Next one says on the afternoon, in the afternoon, or at the afternoon. In the, in the afternoon. afternoon. Yes, we say in the afternoon. <laughs> Number six on Monday morning. In Monday morning or at Monday morning. On oh, Monday morning. Monday morning. On, on Monday, Monday morning. Number seven, on five to 12, in five to 12, or at five to 12? At five, at five, five, five to 12. 12. Five, 12. At five to 12, because we're talking about time. Number eight, on February, in February, or at February? In February. In February. In February. In February. In February. Number nine on 2018, in 2018 or at 2018? In 2018. Yes, we use in for the years. Number 10 on 8th March, in 8th March or at 8th March? On 8th March. On 8th March. On 8th March. Oh. Number 11 on Christmas Day, in Christmas Day, or at Christmas Day? On Christmas, 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 Day. Day. On Christmas Day. Yes, we use on, on Christmas Day. And the last one on winter, in winter, or at winter? In winter. In winter. In winter. In winter. Great. And let's repeat them. One once before we leave uh, everybody say on sunday on, on sunday. sunday in the evening in, in the, the evening, evening. <clears throat> at night at, at, at night. night at night on the weekend on the, the weekend. weekend at the weekend at, at the, the weekend. weekend in the afternoon 
In the afternoon. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. At 5 to 12. In February. In February. In 2018. In 2018. On 8th March. On 8th March. On 8th March. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. In winter. In winter. Okay. And do we have any questions about this topic? No. No questions. All right. Sure. Then that will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for participating. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.